Here we explain how to dilate and extract a submandibular stone out of the submandibular duct or Wharton duct. First, we start by trying to dilate the duct using a lacrimal probe. I start with a zero zero first. Try to get it. The problem with this case is that the stone was right at the tip, so it wouldn't let us dilate because we wouldn't let the duct uh, the duct wouldn't open. Uh, since the stone was right behind it, we wouldn't let the dilator pass by. Uh, therefore, uh, we decided just to make an incision right over the stone in order to extract it. This is the lacrimal probe touching the stone right here. It's a very small one, about three millimeter stone. It is to be noted the patient was anesthetized prior to doing this using lidocaine with epinephrine. And here we're looking for the 11 blade to make our cut right over the submandibular duct over the stone in order to remove it. There you go. That's the little stone. After that, we squeeze the submandibular gland in order to extract all that pus that was uh, stuck in there. Amazingly, this patient didn't have much pain uh, from this infection. The dot was left open, it was not sutured. The patient needs to be followed up, make sure it doesn't develop a stricture uh, on the submandibular dot. And once sent home with antibiotics, and sialogs in order to stimulate salivary flow.